day three of Broncos training camp, and now we're pleased to be joined by Beth Moens, who will be calling the Broncos season opener on Monday night. How does it feel to be the first woman to call a regular season game since the 80s? Well, it's, it's exciting, um, and, and I understand the significance of it and, and the importance of it, and hopefully it's encouraging for any uh, young boy or girl out there that has a dream they want to chase. But I'm, I'm as, as excited being a football fan and growing up my whole life watching Monday Night Football to get an opportunity to be a part of that franchise is, is going to be a thrill. What kind of challenges do you face being a woman in such a male-dominated industry? You know, I've, I've been lucky um, all my life. I've had wonderful support from guys, whether it's my dad and my brothers uh, growing up. I've had wonderful mentors throughout my career at Lafayette College and then at Syracuse where there were guys like Mike Tirico and Sean McDonough who have both sat in this chair and, and so they've been great about sharing um, some of the important things about preparation. So I, I've, I've been real fortunate. I've, I've had good people around me my whole career and um, you know the focus for me has always been earning the respect of the people that I work with and that um, are, are on my team and, and that's all I kind of focus on. Do you feel like you might be blazing a trail, so to speak, for young women out there? Um, I, I think if that's what they take away from it, then that's great. Um, I, I'm really just focused on the day-to-day -day and, and anxious to talk um, a lot more about football than about myself. <laughs> um, having played college uh, basketball, I, I've always felt like that was an advantage to sort of, you know, take me inside the locker room, take me inside the importance of team chemistry and team building this time of year. So I, I love coming out to camp and getting a chance to, to mix and mingle with players and coaches and fans. And, um, you know, it's just the build up to, to opening night, which is exciting for everybody. Your partner for this, Rex Ryan, what's it like working with a big personality like that? Rex and I had a chance to work uh, the Florida State spring game, which was a blast. He is um, obviously knows his football, and he's eager to learn the TV side of it. So we have a couple of other uh, practice games coming up in the preseason, and just kind of building team chemistry and, and getting Rex more and more comfortable with the technology in the booth, and I, I think he's going to be fantastic, and, and certainly his... Um, Connections with Anthony Lynn, the, the Chargers coach, one of his former assistants, I think will we'll have great storytelling going on on Monday. Yeah, knowing the AFC West, what do you think about this matchup? A uh, big one to get the season started. You know, I, I think it was the most competitive and arguably the, the toughest division in football last year, and it certainly looks like with the offseason improvements that the Broncos and the Chargers have made, it's going to be the same this year, uh, probably with just two teams making it again. So uh, the fight is on, and I, I think it's great for the NFL when you've got quality out west like this division right now, and, and it's going to be fantastic for the fans. Well, it's always fun when Phillip Rivers comes to yeah. town, so it'll be a big game. Beth, yeah. thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you.